Hi, my name is Jess Rohr and I'm the owner of Forage Hawaii, a local meat purveyor. And today we are gonna cook up a quick and simple ramen using a couple of the ingredients that I sell at Forage Hawaii. We're gonna be starting with Portuguese sausage, which is not a very traditional thing to be putting in ramen, but it's one of the products that we carry. And I'm just using a little bit of marrow tallow, um, just because we have like all animal fats that we use to cook with. But you can use whatever oil or fat you have, just not butter, because it'll burn. So the pork we're using today for the Portuguese sausage and the ramen bone broth is from Mountain View Farms in Waianae. And they do a really great job raising their animals using Korean natural farming methods. And they don't use any hormones, steroids, antibiotics, or vaccines. And the animals are able to dig and root, which is them being able to express their natural behavior. It's important to keep the animals low stress. And then they are also an awesome converter of food waste into high quality protein. And that's because David sources spent beer grains from local beer companies to feed the animals. And it's generally non-GMO barley. And he also uses expired produce. So food that would have otherwise been wasted were turning into this delicious Portuguese sausage. So once those are nice and brown, we're gonna remove those from our pot. And in the same pot, because it's just gonna add a little bit of flavor, we're gonna put our ramen broth. When you get your ramen broth, you'll notice it's nice and jiggly. This one's thawed out a little bit, but you'll see all that jiggliness. That's all the collagen. Our bodies need that for joint cushioning, skin. Our bones are full of a lot of collagen, and there's just a lot of benefits to bone broth. All cultures in the world historically used bones as a form of medicine or nourishing, and you can find that across the board in all cultures. So it's really kind of a new buzz food, but it's been around forever. If you have a large family and you want to make this broth go a little bit further, you can always add a cup of water and a couple tablespoons of shoyu or a teaspoon of salt. So as we heat up our broth, we're just going to put a couple of big chunks of ginger. I like to just lay this out and give it a whack. So this broth is already infused with ginger, um, but that just gives it a nice fresh ginger flavor if you want a little bit more, and it's medicinal. So we've got garlic, kombu, shiitake mushroom, garlic, ginger, celery, a little bit of vinegar to pull out the minerals from the bones, and a few other whole food ingredients that we use to make our ramen bone broth, so it's super tasty. So now we're gonna heat up our bok choy. Um, that one cooks the longest, so that'll be a three to four minute boil. And we'll remove that, and in the same hot water, we're gonna put in some sprouts and our julienne carrots. Those only take about a minute, so we're gonna do that really fast, and then we'll scoop those out. So these are ready, let's pull these out. Nice little scooper. You can also use a strainer. Okay, now we're gonna add our noodles. And these are Sun Noodles. And Sun Noodles is a local company that's now nationwide. They were started in the 1980s and still Hawaii owned. So we're supporting a local company with our noodles. We're gonna drop those in the water and those will cook for two to three minutes really fast. Okay, now we're ready to plate. Start off by cutting the bok choy in half. Put half of that on this one, half on the other one. Next, we're gonna put our sprouts and carrots, a little bit of those on top. Some of the sausage.
All right, so a little fun fact about our broth is it is gluten-free. Regular shoyu has gluten in it because it's made from wheat. This one does not. So if you are somebody who doesn't do gluten you, or low, wants to do low carb, you could omit the noodles, add extra veg, and then just have a really awesome veggie soup and maybe throw in a little bit more Portuguese sausage. Um, this is almost ready. All we have to do is spoon some broth over the bowl. And this is so fast, it's so easy. We've already done the hard work. Our broth is cooked for 48 hours. Uh, so that's the hardest part. And now that you've already got that made, you can just easily enjoy. We're almost done. We're just gonna put on our garnish. We have soft boiled eggs. Those are just six minutes in a rolling boil and then thrown into an ice bath, peeled and halved. And then we've got some nori. This is just, if you have this, it's optional. Um, I just cut it into to thin strips. We have a little bit of sesame oil. This is optional as well, but I like to put a little bit of this on at the end. To make it look nice and pretty, we've got some green onion. And I cut these long ways because I think it looks cute, but you can just dice them up if it's easier. Now we just need our chopstick and spoon and we've got our easy forage ramen with Portuguese sausage and vegetables.